guys, it's me Vinta, welcome back to another episode of my How I series. Uh, now before I begin, I'd like to give a huge uh, shout out and thanks to Luigi, um, if I can find his name here, Luigi, there he is. Um, now I was watching some of his videos and it appeared that he actually mentioned me in one of his videos, um, so I'm going to leave a link to his description, a link, I'm going to leave a link to his channel and stuff in the description so you can go check him out if you don't know who he is. Um, but a few of you have actually come over from his channel, so what's up? and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy my future content so with on let's get on with the series so this is obviously how I'm going to wait how I'm going to no this is obviously a video showing you guys how I train thieving to 99 uh, hence I've got my thieving cape on and the title of the video suggests it's going to be showing you guys how I train thieving to 99 um, so from about 1 to 60 I train thieving at I think it was like the Thieving Guild and I was pickpocketing I was pickpocketing some dudes from the Thieving stall I think so obviously from 1 to like 53 you just do whatever the hell you want you can do some um, master farmers from to get to 53 for Desert Treasure and then from 53 to 60 or 70 you can do whatever you want really um, the reason I'm saying you know whatever you want and not giving you much in-depth information is because 1 to 60 isn't that long especially in evolution of combat where XP rates are quite high um, but you guys are probably here to have a look at um, either just listen to the Australian voice um, what's up or you want to see you know, kind of, you know kind of kind of how I train my thieving 299 so from 71 to 99 is um, well I trained a pyramid plunder so this is the, kind of the setup that I use that I kind of figured out towards the end from about 91 to 99 uh, this is kind of the setup that I was using so if I go to my worn inventory I've got my Nezi helm uh, bandos, steadfasts, colormancer gloves, barrows gloves, whatever, ring of wealth now the main kind of goal for this setup is defensive armor because sometimes when you loot the chest or loot the sarcophagus or loot the um, with the big statue do to try and get the scepter of the gods you will be confronted with like uh, scarabs or something scabbers or something. I don't know you'll, you'll be met with them or you'll be met with um, zombies now they can hit they can hit a little bit hard not too hard but that combined with all the failures and stuff when you look at the urns it can it can um it can all add up and you can lose quite a lot of HP uh, but then you want to bring your bunyips as well to heal that HP and one or two ferroceptors. I just got two because I actually looted one from the chest. Uh, over the course of you know 81 to 99 thieving, I managed to get two black ibis pieces, but I'm not wearing them because I forgot to pick them up. Um, it took me, you know, I looted them from the chest, and then the next day I looked at my adventures log, hope hoping that I didn't get anything, and it turned out I got two black ibis bodies that one day, and I didn't even see them on the floor. So that's a fail, and I'm already 99. I'm, I'm not going for 200 mil. Um, sorry fellows from efficiency experts but I'm not going for 200 mil <laughs> I'm just trying to get that max cape and hopefully see what I can go from there so um, thieving cape you want to use your Ardone cloak, Ardone cloak 4 or 3 or whatever that increases your chances of looting the urns I think I don't know that's, that was my ideology throughout the thieving um, but yeah so you want to use your Ardi cloak and then your defensive setup ring of wealth to increase your chances of getting scepters and black ibis pieces I think anti-poison totem totem bought from the dungeoneering rewards trader uh, that's a few that's a few tens of thousands tokens and that's definitely oh, <coughs> excuse me that's definitely worth it uh, you, it prevents you from getting poison hence anti-poison and as long as you wear it you will not be poisoned throughout so that that will save you a lot more food so let's get on with it now where, throughout the um, through when you're thieving a big thing to note is you kind of your screen setup now obviously this isn't the screen setup that I would use um, this is the screen setup now. I put kind of the picture on the screen. If I forget to, I'm going to look like an idiot, but there it is there. Hopefully, I put it up. Um, and then, along with that, you'll notice I've put my chat box down like this, so I'm very antisocial when I thieve. And you'll also see I probably will not have my inventory put up. Um, but you want to put your Ferroceptor on number one. Where's it being? You hold one, and bam, you teleport right back to the pyramid. And yeah, so I'm going to quickly show you guys a quick lap of what I'm going to do so you always want to spawn your bunyip right click and hit start minigame and at the beginning <coughs> excuse me I'm going to drink some water so at the beginning when what, as soon as you come through the tomb door you want to hit the, the spear traps closest to you and then you always want to run through the uh, closest door now you'll see people that actually do this in duos and stuff 
Now, some people think, you know, oh, if I'm going to do a duo, the person who goes to the door first is going to go to the, the farthest tomb door. Um, actually, that's the most inefficient way to do it. If you have, if you're doing a duo, you want to, uh, you want to try and get to the tomb door, like, you're trying to get through the closest tomb, tomb door possible. Um, because if you think about it, if the first person goes through, and let's say he goes to the farthest door, and the second dude comes through, and he goes to the first door, and the second dude actually goes through first, that first dude actually wasted a little bit of XP going to the father's door when he could have just gone through the first door. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm Australian. I don't know much. So, um, yeah, I just ride kangaroos and throw boomerangs. Um, so, you'll also notice uh, my screen. I'm facing the northeast. This is kind of the most efficient way to do it, in my opinion. I've been told by a few other dudes. But I mainly, you'll see me change the screen every now and then. But prominently, you want to have your camera facing to the northeast and you just want to spam click through the doors so uh, try and get to the closest spear trap I could have gone here but you know a few ticks won't do me much harm um, yeah so oh, I was gonna say something but I forgot oh god damn it oh uh, yeah actually yeah when you when you when you're entering the tomb doors pick locking the tomb doors as soon as the XP pops up that's when you want to move to the next door so you see it's popped up there and then XP pops up there was this is the last door so I'm just gonna go straight through him go to the closest spear trap now this is room 71 I normally would loot the gold chest if I fail this first tomb door so if I fail that I'm gonna click keep, keep clicking there so as you see I failed the first one I looted the chest in a in an attempt to get a Pharaoh scepter and then if you fail that obviously you just want to keep moving around the door now as you saw I just brought up my inventory and actually prevented me from clicking the last door so you want to kind of click keep that down at all costs um, and now this is room 81 obviously if you're 71 thieving um, if you want to be here at 61 thieving you can be as well it's pretty good XP it's one of the best it's one of the only ways that I know how to thieve I'm no master thiever I just got 99 um, which was pretty easy it's pretty quick I was averaging about two or three mil XP a day so that's only like it only took me like a week or so um, to get 99 from like I don't know 90 or so I, don't, I can't remember but okay quickly you see you've got your time at the top right hand corner and it's kind of going down gradually when I go before I go to the next room the top of that line should kind of be a little bit below halfway between the hit points and the prayer so as you see it's about halfway now and it should turn a little bit darker red when it goes a little bit down they see it's going a little bit darker red about now is the time that I would move on to my next room now you can take this into consideration when you're in room you know in room six or five out of eight um, you know your second last room that you are capable of doing it's just you know it, it just helps me out and I get a loot the last room because essentially the last the last room will give you the most XP and you don't want to be looting everything in the second last room while you're jeopardizing all the urns and the engraved sarcophagus that's what it's called um, in the very last room now obviously if you loot the engraved sarcophagus you have the chance of getting black ibis or you have the chance of getting a pharaoh scepter so I do recommend do recommend looting that every single time it, if you if you end up you know screwing up if you're watching a YouTube video or other you know other content wink wink um, you can loot the sarcophagus as soon as you come in I, even if you're like your time is you know just about to run out I just run in and run and loot the sarcophagus straight up now you see I've got plenty of time here so I'm gonna loot all the urns I can and now I'm, you wanna leave the grand chest and the sarcophaguses last because they have the op they have the potential to spawn you know critters and stuff that will you know that will be able to hit you and be able to lose your life points and now your bunyip can heal it but your bunyip's mainly here to heal all your all of your um all the damage dealt from the urns so you want to kind of you know reduce all the damage you can get hit throughout the pyramid plunder or when you're plundering so that's where your bandos and stuff comes into play now as you see the time is almost up and I'm gonna loot this last urn and I'm gonna quickly loot the chest actually I'm gonna loot the sarcophagus in case I get uh, ferrous I don't know some stuff I'm, I doubt it even if I do I'm probably not even gonna use it because I'm already 99 but sometimes this is a pain in the butt oh there we go I looted it uh, okay I didn't get anything now I'm. this was very efficient inefficient um, now I'm referring to like the very very last bit of kind of the plunder now as soon as you exit 
as soon as you exit the uh, the pyramid, you want to hold one, and that will teleport you straight back. And then you quickly want to, you know, right click and get straight back in and get going. Um, like I did there. I'm not going to do another trip because I need to get back to fishing. I'm wasting XP. Um, but it's all it's all for a good cause. I love you guys, and um, you know, big thanks to Luigi again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, and uh, you know, message me in the comments. I like speaking to people. I don't get many comments, so I'm feeling a little bit lonely. Uh, but feel free to leave me some comments and stuff. I'll be free to answer. I'll feel you know. I'll be I don't know, I'll be overwhelmed to answer some of your questions and stuff. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and. Uh,